What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be looking at the Berry Boot install on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now I'm quite excited about this because I do enjoy Berry Boot a lot and have used it for quite some time on previous versions of the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get it installed on a micro SD card. To do that, what we're going to do is just copy all the files from the Berry Boot download and put it onto our micro SD card. Then what we're going to do is put that into our Raspberry Pi and connect our um, SSD drive. And today we will be using the Samsung Evo uh, 860. If you really need, I will do a video again on the setup on here. But uh, for now, make sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button, leave me any comments below. If you know of another method of getting the Raspberry Pi to boot from an SSD drive, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any other projects you'd like me to share or explain or, or talk on. So I've actually recorded this once already. My audio wasn't working. It seems like there is an issue with my lav mic. I'm not too sure what. But for now, I will be using my Rode mic. So basically, the install went absolutely fine. I was able to install Berry Boot. As you can see here, I'll display the, the main install until it reboots. Once installed, it took a moment on the reboot, but after it uh, uh, was done, everything loaded up absolutely fine on my desktop. It detected everything. The only thing I noticed about using Berry Boot was I was unable to use the um, Raspberry Pi configuration from the Pi menu down in accessories or whatever it is there. Um, what is it? Let's just double check. Yeah, so down in the preferences on the Pi menu, uh, I was not able to use the Raspberry Pi configuration there. Whereas doing it my other method that you've already seen on um, the other video, if you haven't seen it, it's linked in the description below. But uh, yeah, to me it's the better way and it gets things working properly. But I do, like I said, I do love Berry Boot and I love it. I want to use it. But uh, at this point, I'm already set up on here. But I just wanted to take uh, a moment to let you know that there is an alternative version out there of being able to get your um, Raspberry Pi to boot off of an SSD drive other than just doing it the previous method. And this way is definitely a lot easier as you can see there it took no time at all it booted and then it went right to the desktop but I was just not able to use the Raspberry Pi configuration I had to actually go into terminal and then in terminal I was able to um, do the sudo raspi uh, dash config and then from there, I was able to change the settings that you normally would in there. So that's that's all good. So the links are in the description below for Berry Boot. Um, like I said, all you have to do is copy and drag it all those files um, from it onto your micro SD card. Put it in your Raspberry Pi. Have your SSD or your hard drive attached select that as your boot option there and away you go so that's it for me today thank you for watching everyone you have a wonderful day a wonderful week and we'll see you next time take care eh